Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I am Nonji Malunga for those of you who do not know me and welcome to another video. So basically in this video, I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for a Schengen visa. So basically a Schengen visa allows you to travel to any of the 26 countries that Europe has. And I've basically applied for it three times and I was approved on all those times. So it's quite easy. I think the main important thing is to have all your documents in order there's a lot of documents required so this video will definitely help you out if you're not sure on anything so let's not waste any more time let's get straight into the video okay guys the first thing is to decide which embassy you want to apply your visa for so there's literally two options firstly let's say you're going to spain for four days and the netherlands for six days you are going to apply for visa for the country that you are going to be in for the longest of time so even though you're entering spain first netherlands is six days spain is four days so you're going to apply through the netherlands um the other option is let's say your trip is four days in spain and four days in the netherlands you are going to apply via the embassy that you land in first so in this case you are going to apply for spain so once you've gathered which embassy um, you need to apply for you go on the website and you basically go through these steps so i'll talk about the websites and all of that a bit later on so firstly i'm going to take you through the documentation you require for your visit so first on the list is your return flight and any other flights that you are going to need within the travel so guys they want to see that you are leaving south africa and you're also coming back so make sure this is a return flight not a one-way flight um because you want to decide later on when you're coming back it needs to be a return flight so also don't scam the system and try get a quotation and stuff like that it needs to be paid for like it needs to be the invoice it needs to show that your flights are confirmed it needs to show even like that you you purchased it this is very very important um and that's why i've listed it as step one the other things you'll need is that sometimes they ask you guys so if you are visiting spain and the netherlands they are going to ask you how are you going to get to the netherlands so you need to um, also show them the internal domestic flights um, going from spain to the netherlands if you're using a train you need to show them your train ticket if you're using a, a ship or whatever mode of transport if you're hiring a car show them that um, you're going to be hiring a car um, this is your booking and all of that so any sort of transportation that you'll be using in the Schengen areas is definitely needed. So if obviously you're just going to one country, let's say you're just going to Spain and you're going to be using the train to travel around Spain, that is fine. I need you to show them if you're going to be traveling to the other countries, how you're going to get there. So that's first on the list, return flights and any other modes of transportation um, details that you are going to be using second of all is your accommodation so this is also quite vital they need to know that you are not going to be um, begging on the string and just causing a racket in their country they need to know that you are going to be staying somewhere um, and you have a place to stay so best is airbnb is the most affordable and also bookings.com um, but i know airbnb there's literally an option i'll do a screen recording this literal option on the app where you can get your travel details and you write down the name of the people that are going or you write down your own name and it prints it out for you it has a confirmation number and it has the cost that you have paid for it so Accommodation is the second thing and make sure it is paid for. Thirdly is your travel insurance. So travel insurance is actually mandatory. You need to show them that you have travel insurance. So it needs to cover you up to a minimum of 30,000 euros. So 30 times 20 is 500,000 South African rands. So that's literally what the travel insurance um, has to cover you um, by so i know with me i usually use my credit card to buy the flight then mastercard already has this thing where they give you travel insurance if not there's a lot of options out there i'm um, just search internet international travel insurance i know bright 
I'll put it up on the screen, is also a good um, travel insurance company because when we were going um, to Mauritius, we actually used a visa card to purchase the ticket so we didn't get complimentary insurance. So we had to buy it on the side uh, and then we had to claim because the flight um, got delayed until the next day. So we, we, we had to claim and the process was smooth um, because we did end up getting our money. So yeah, guys, make sure you have your travel insurance. Fourthly is a three month bank statement. So they basically want to see that you will have sufficient funds um, when you go there. You won't become like a, a beggar on the streets or anything like that, but you have the money. So I usually use my credit card um, because that's where the money is and i print i print that out and i usually have about 20 to 30 k um in the account and that's usually fine but also what's mandatory is 100 euros per day that you are going to be there so if you are going to be there for 10 days you are going to need 1000 euros um, worth of money. So 1,000 euros is about 20,000 rand. So that's why I say between 20 and 30,000 rand should be enough if you are going obviously for about two weeks. So print out your bank statement and make sure that you get the stamp at the bank. So I know now with latest technology, you can just send yourself your three-month bank statement. It has those bank stamps that you get digitally but i had to go to the bank and get it stamped like when i was applying for the schengen visa for greece um they actually sent me back they like they need the actual stamped um statements so fifth on the list is proof that you are a student an employer or employee so the first time when i was applying i was a student um so basically i went to the admin office i basically asked him to print out a letter for me basically stating that i'm registered at wits as a full-time student and these are basically my holiday period or i'm traveling with my family but i am a full-time student registered for this year and i am expected to come back to school and then and for my employer, ask HR to draft a letter stating that I'm a full-time employee or part-time employee. Um, I, I have requested leave days from these days to these days. This is my position in the company. This is my cost to company. And basically, I am expected to come back to work on this day. So I think this is also one of the most important one because this letter also has to be stamped with like an actual stamp not a digital stamp like they also send me back with this it has to be stamped then if you're an employer um i'm not sure on the details there because i've never applied as an actual actual employer or an entrepreneur or a business owner but i'm guessing it's the same kind of process where you need um, a letterhead that you are self-employed um maybe add your tax number and all of that your company registration that you are trading in South Africa and basically you are going to return because this is how you make your means of money. So this step is also pretty important to have. Then you are going to need a valid passport. So I guess this one is kind of obvious, but your passport needs to be valid for three months. You also need to have three back to back pages that are free. So basically when I was traveling to Mauritius, I had pages that are free, but they went back to back. Um, and the, the man basically told me that I'm going to stamp you in, but you need to get a new passport because um, technically I'm not supposed to be allowing you to go through. So the man at immigration. So because it was like basically a local flight, Mauritius is across the road from South Africa. They let me through, but international, you need to have a passport that has three back to back empty pages. Seven, you need two recent photos of yourself passport photos so you need about two of them and with this that dimension they will mention it in the application form but if you go to like any printing store or any store basically where you can take pictures just ask them for a passport size picture and they'll print it for you so you actually need these pictures because they also like attach it to your application form um and yeah so basically you need about two to three passport size pictures then guys you can also add additional support just to support your case that please i'm a tourist i'm going to just visit and i am no harm to your country so right now you don't really need a covid um 
like form anymore that you are vaccinated but i always include mine so you can include your COVID form the bank also can write you up a letter that you haven't moved funds anywhere you have enough money to travel just ask your banker or ask or call in your bank and ask them for a travel um a travel visa letter basically they know everything about it and they'll write it up for you and then what else you can include is if you own property you can even include that because i know the american one the american visa is quite hectic because they give you like 10 years so if you want to support even further you can add um, that you own property and basically you have all means to come back to south africa because your life is here like you're not trying to live in the country you're just trying to visit so any additional documents that you require you can attach but the ones i just mentioned are the most important then you're going to need your appointment confirmation page so you just print that out and then you'll take it with you that you did book an appointment to come to the visa interview and yeah this is it so how you even book that appointment i'm going to take you through it now so the last thing you'll need is your application form then you will see as you're going through your application form that it will say um bring your three months bank statements bring that you are a student bring your um accommodation bring your flight you know basically your application form also assists as a checkbox to just make sure that you are not missing out anything so all schengen visa application forms are the same the process is the same and the application what you need to fill in is basically the same then you basically print out everything and you take it to your interview like it's a bible guys when you print out all those forms it's like probably like this big because they require a lot then you go to your interview and you submit your application form then the lady will go through everything one by one she'll be like okay where's your three months bank statement you give it to her uh, where is your proof that you're employed you give it to her and everything like that so if you do miss out anything they will tell you at that point and then you can go back and book again or do all those things and then they submit it then yeah you basically get your visa delivered to you if it's successful even if it's not you get it's delivered to you and then you open it up to see if it was successful or not now the time it takes for the visa process so guys this honestly differs by embassy to embassy when we applied to greece it was fairly quick it was between one to two weeks so it was about 10 days so that one was fairly quick um we applied two months before and we got it literally two weeks later and then when we applied for the portugal one because obviously portugal was the destination we were going to be at the longest um that one took forever we did it two months before and i got it three weeks before departure my friend did her interview after me but she got it like a month before departure so it also differs like if somebody else that you're traveling with gets theirs before you it doesn't mean yours is declined guys you just have to be patient but they will bring it back before you travel i always say make sure to do it like two months three months before so if you do get declined or if you do miss out something um you can quickly track it another interview so now where do you register and where do you book an appointment and where do you submit all these things so now i'm going to take you through that so firstly it's key to understand if you'll need a single entry visa or a multi-entry visa so a single entry is basically you're going into one country and you're going out multi-entry is that you'll be going to other countries basically in europe so multi-entry is always like the one that people pick because when traveling to europe everything's close to each other like it just makes sense to go to other countries too and see everything so I guess it's the first thing you need to understand when you are going through your application form. And basically, where do you do your visa application? So the most common one is GVC World. So guys, there's a lot of like fake um, kind of sites. So you need to make sure that you're using the right one. So um, Global Visa Center, um, that's basically like the main one. Type again, Global Visa Center. Let's say you are going to portugal you see vps this is the correct one and then you go through it so 
all the sites you need to apply for is through this guys so some of the embassies are also like um linked together because i know the portugal one um the netherlands was also there um they, they had a lot of other countries so most of them are under the global visa center it's going to be those one of few countries that are also probably quite small but this is the most common visa application link that you need to go to okay guys so even on the site it literally will direct you on how you need to apply so as you can see here the first step is apply for a visa so let's say start now so the first step is identify your visa type so this if it's going to be a short stay a long stay or if you are applying for like a, a temporary stay so less than one year or a residential stay over one year second step you need to begin your application so you see this is where you download the form then you choose the type of visa so we are going to be short stay um it shows you your visa fees so schengen visa short stay is going to be 1.6 okay documents required um click here this gives you a checklist so basically um everything i just went through you will need your application form you need the photos you see here it says you need one passport copy of your flights round trip um travel insurance accommodation um also if you're visiting someone they can write you a letter to support that if you're going on a cruise um the cruise details proof that you have sufficient funds so your three months bank statement um for employees um a letter from your employer minors a letter from your 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 parents they've literally made it more simple okay documents required photo specifics you see here are the dimensions that you need for your photos processing time about 15 calendar days so make sure that's why i say make sure it's like two months or a month before your travel download form so basically um here is where you'll need the form is so okay this one is in another language so basically this is the form as you can see application for a schengen visa it's all the same all the details your personal details you are a tourist thing you see here this is what i mentioned single two entry or multi so usually you'll choose multi if you're going to one or two countries your passport details what you'll be traveling with credit card cash and then a signature fill out the form um you fill out the form then you also print that out then you find a center find a center near you okay i'm gonna do it in cape town then you want to book an appointment for your visa and you say book now okay guys you basically have to sign in but it will show you the days available and basically when you can go for the appointment yeah you basically have to create an account so you can also just check up on how your application is doing and then that is it then after you've booked your appointment you visit a visa center you track your application and then you collect your passport but it's usually sent to you like they don't even offer for you to pick it up it's usually delivery um all the time especially in south africa so yeah so basically those are the steps um that are required to apply for a schengen visa so it's pretty easy guys i feel like anybody can travel as long as you're just not a criminal and if you have the money you can literally do it too so 2024 we are all traveling europe summer is coming in june in the june period so let's get ready and have a holiday apply for our visas and go so yeah basically i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave down below any questions that you still might have i know i went through it pretty quickly because i've gone through it but i know it is quite overwhelming especially this website i realized that it is a bit overwhelming even for me who has used it quite a bit and who has helped my friends so it is a lot so hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next week with more tips on how to travel Bye.